Howdy y'all, Dion Big O here, and let's get back to some Mega Man Extreme. Today we're taking on Spark Mandrill. As I was saying before, in the last episode, at the end of the last episode, Spark Mandrill is kind of a special case in how the bosses work in this game, and I will show you when we get to him. Also, unlike in the original Mega Man X, there is no way to actually depower his, uh, base. So it always has electricity coursing through it. Actually, no, come to think of it, this game decides to try to have it both ways, come to think of it. We'll see what I mean in a second. And that it... Wait, can I... No? So only the kick gets through those. Huh. But yeah. Both it has power, and it's still subject to blackouts. I think in... X, one, it was either one way or the other. It didn't... You couldn't have it both ways. I always like those ostriches things. They look around, they're like, hmm, hmm, oh! This thing's weakness right up here is Storm Tornado. It's... actually... It is a tad threatening, if you don't know what you're doing. Kinda like I did yesterday. Oh, you better believe I was getting wrecked yesterday, man. But today, I'm a lot more on the ball. Really, today it's not a lack of skill that's killing me, it's... Uh, the awkwardness of playing this on a GameCube controller. But oh well. Enough of my bitchin'. Yeah! Made it! <laughs> With very little fumbling around. So, another thing that's changed from X is, see those turtles there? In the original version of X1, they're weak to the Storm Tornado. Storm Tornado kills them in one hit. In this version, though, Storm Tornado does nothing to them. Which is a major pain in the ass. Okay, so there's another one right after this other barricade, but we're just gonna hop over them. Because, so, it's really painful dealing with them. Okay, so there's a lip right up here, and if you try to inch your way over till the little thing flies over and shows you where it is, you'll fall in and die before it appears. And, uh huh. Yeah, this part doesn't really like you or anybody. Yeah, we made it to Spark Mandrill without too much problems. Okay, so, as I was saying before, Spark Mandrill is a, is a special case. In the original version of X1, you could freeze him, and as soon as he became unfreeze, unfrozen, you could shoot him again, and it would uh, freeze him again. Not in this version. In this version, Spark Mandrill gets like two seconds of invincibility after he uh, breaks out of being frozen. The only thing that I can say that's good about this is that you can actually shoot him if you wait about a second and a half after you freeze him and shoot him he will take a little bit more damage. And just in case you're wondering, no. The fact that I shot him the second time does n is not what gives him the invincibility frames after he breaks out of the ice. He's got just as many if you don't hit him at all. Oh look, it's Dr. Kane! 
the only human in existence. Not according to the actual series itself, but he is literally the only human you ever see. So when I was playing through X4 and the Repliforce was talking about how they were going to fight humans and stuff like that, I have no idea who they were referring to because there are no humans. They don't exist. Alright, before we take on the Sigma stage, we're gonna go back to Storm Eagle stage and get a heart tank. It is still exactly where it was in the normal game. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna hop into freaking uh, logs and stuff being kicked at me. Also, in between this video and the next one, I think I'm going to uh, farm energy because this game gives you sub tanks, but it's, they honestly, it doesn't give you a whole lot of energy to ever fill up those sub tanks. And it can take quite a lot in this game. So I'm going to spare you actually having to watch me try to do that. Ah! Privacy invasion robots. Hey, okay, what you doing? What you doing? Huh? Can I be part of it? No, get out of my face! That's really all I have to say about it. Just get out of my face. Okay. Uh, speed burner. There it is. Alright. Let's get out of here. Yep, we're fine. Alright, let's take on the first Sigma stage. So... The thing about this level in the original X... is that there were a couple of ways to approach it. You could either jump up these platforms and shoot the things that come out at you, those things, uh, with homing missiles, or you could use the upgraded buster if you'd got it at that point, and use the rolling shields, uh, shield ability to protect you. Honestly, I think they knew that you didn't actually have any of those options available to you, so they just made it really easy, and only one of them comes out at you. You know what? I'm not even going to deal with you. By the way, uh, up here if you were expecting another fight with Vava as it was, you'll be disappointed because he only appears at the beginning of the game and never again. Instead, we get a return fight with Zane. We have no chance to win. Ah! Alright, forgot about that part. Ow! Oh, jump too soon, or move too soon. Oh! He actually leapt at me that time. Oh well. well. We actually did pretty good on one life there. A lot better than I expected to. <laughs> you know, just fuck those turtles. <laughs> fuck those turtles! Ah! That keeps happening. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> oh! Right, I've been meaning to uh, give a shout out to my buddy Fistlub. He also runs a Let's Play channel, and pretty much the entire reason I'm even playing Mega Man Extreme here for you is because uh, I did a run of X4 as Zero, and my buddy, 
uh, he did a run of X4 as X. And then he did a run of the original Mega Man X. And from that, I kind of got the idea to do this one. You should go check out his, uh, his channel. It's pretty good. I'll put a link in the description to his channel. It's full of cool stuff. Honestly, he's a little goofy and weird, but that just makes it all the better, right? I can't believe this! Ah! I was a robot with a sword! Yes, but you weren't zero, and therefore you fail. How dare you defeat my buddy! I'll get you later! Now I kind of feel bad because Zane was apparently his, his friend. I don't know what's supposed to happen in this room. Nothing, apparently. <laughs> He's like, You killed my buddy, you son of a bitch! Woo! Oh, that almost worked perfectly. Okay. So coming up here, you gotta use a bunch of different things. They have no defense against the tornado power for some reason in this game. Their shield doesn't protect them. Kind of have to keep switching back and forth. The Game Boy Color didn't have L and R buttons, so you have to do it this way. Don't stand too close to the wall, or else your uh, bolts that go up the wall will miss them. No! Oh, don't tell me. Nope, none of them respond, okay. Alright. So here we have the last little... Come on, pop your head up. There we go. Last little tunnel before the boss of this particular area. Oh, an extra life. Generous. This place was always a cluttered mess of enemies, even in X1. The boss of this first uh, Sigma stage is the same as it was in the Super Nintendo. It's the big robo-spider. It is pretty much completely unchanged. And the fact that it will annoyingly throw down spider robots a lot. And its weakness is still shotgun ice. Got it. And right now it's following very simplistic patterns. Honestly, this is... I feel like this was a pretty fairly well-designed boss. Because it starts out easy to uh, figure out where it's going to go, and then when it gets faster and faster, you have to think quicker, and it gets a lot harder. I don't know if that'll protect me. Nope, it did not. Oh, I fucked up. <laughs> How much ice do I have left? I have a whole lot. Then we'll do the first couple of hits with the X-Buster. And then we'll switch over to ice. X-Buster doesn't do as much, but... It does destroy the annoying little spider bots.
So... Really, one of the secrets to this boss is just, uh... Remembering a lot of those... Follow the exact, uh, pattern of the bars type things, or, I mean, like... Find the correct path of an object, because it can only turn at every bar it passes. Something like that. Alright. Let's... Let's waste a shot of ice! My ever-precious ice. Stop it! Ah! Well, now I'm definitely not going to do it. Well, that was poorly done. Now I've got even le far less ice. Okay. I'll just do this with the buster. Why not? I think I just got lucky last night, it, and I died on the first time I fought it, but the second time it had a pattern where it almost never threw spiders. God damn it, stop that! This boss is being a... Royal fucking prick. Okay, what do we got? Uh, also, I think the Game Boy Color version of this is incapable of having those really simple patterns where the spider just completely comes down on one side. Because I have not, I've yet to see that actually happen. Just fucking knock that shit off. Fucker! God damn it! Wow, that really is, like, the most annoying thing about that boss so far. Ah! Okay. This <laughs> still affirms the fact that I hate spiders, by the way. Oh, you can... Keep forgetting smaller, more enclosed spaces. With decently big sprites. At this point, I might as well die. exactly mean to do it like that, but whatever. Alright, uh, after that I think I'm gonna call it for this episode. I'm the D.O.M. Bigo, and I will see you next time!